Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Broken Sword Shadow of the Templars Director's Cut. I'm Classic Gamer. Last time we um, got through Mofferson, got rid of the cop, uh, got rid of the clown and we found out by putting the tripod, well we found a Templar hideout um, and a group that have called themselves the Neo Templars as a terms to um, the Knights Templar. Um, we managed um, after um, listen to their conversation to put the tripod and the gem in where they were and it spelled out the letters for a place in Syria um, called Marib who we've got here actually and we're going to do this location first as it's a long location to do but I'm going to aim to do it in this session um, which is going to be 15 minutes each video and um, it'll go until I manage to do it so probably about six videos maybe four depending on how quickly I do it. It shouldn't take me too long, but as I'm listening to every single conversation, it probably will take more longer than usual. Um, I may try and reduce asking everyone about everything, but let's just see how we go. Um, I will probably be getting a phone call, so if I do, um, I'll be stopping the video very quickly, and I'll be right back after I've spoken on the phone. So, yeah, so let's go to Marib. If I can click the button. And we're here in Marib. A um, few people here we can talk to. How did this guy make a living selling useless old machine parts in the middle of nowhere? The stand was hawking ancient machine parts. The merchant was selling fruit. I decided I might have some later. Embarrassed as I am to admit it, you can spot an American tourist a mile off. The stand was selling some fruit I didn't recognize. This is what travel is all about. Roam the world and discover strange fruit. The stand had kebabs dangling from the canopy. As a marketing device, it lacked something. I figured going out into the countryside was a pretty good way to get lost. The stall holder's face wasn't a great ad for running a kebab stand. In the still air, the smell hung around like bad smells do. The stall holder's face wasn't a great ad for running a kebab stand. Hi, what's your name, sir? Hello, hello, you buy kebab. Most good. What do you make of this, sir? You buy kebab. You buy kebab. Yum. Most good. I'd value your opinion on this, sir. Nah, you buy kebab. None? I'd value your opinion on this, sir. Nah, you buy kebab. None? <laughs> you don't get much sense out of this guy, so don't bother talking to him. Well, goodbye. Have a nice day. Most good. Right, to get this this really moving and so we can do it quickly, um, we're going to do this bit now. The carpet seller looked craftier than the offspring of a fox and an insurance agent. Muruba, hello there. And to get through this bit, um, Ma asalama. It was the pattern. I'd seen that pattern somewhere recently. Yes, you might recognize the pattern. The matchbook bore a pattern of swirling color and the words Club Alamut. Hello, sir. Lovely carpet. Show him this. Does this matchbook mean anything to you? Ah, give to me, give to me. Alamut. Me 
many beneficent greetings, my most fortunate possible friend. Huh? Do I know you, mister? No. No. And again I say, no. But, my friend, do you not see our mutual good fortune in this meeting? How frank do you want me to be? You are a traveler, yes? Boy, you must be the world's greatest detective. No. I am told that is Sherlock Holmes of the big forehead and slipper full of shag. I, as contrast, am world's greatest luxury taxi driver. I can see where this is going. I am Ultar, taxi driver and luxury guide per excellence, yes. This I had to hear. Where does your heart desire to go? Simply mention the name to your obedient servant and we shall fly there, swift as the eagle. Oh, well, I don't really want to leave Marib yet, but I'm sure that if I do, you'll be the first to know. He's good. You know where you want to go, you come to Ultar. Thanks. See you around, Ultar. Be having a pleasant day, full of shining experiences and happiness, my friend. Damn, the door's locked. Uh, I'm sorry? Did, did you say something? He say you not to go in toilet. Read sign, matey. Matey? It lose something in translation. By staring hard at the notice and squinting, I discovered I couldn't understand a word of it. Even if I'd wanted to spit, my mouth was too dry. The spittoon was nearly full. What did they sell here? Drinks or expectorants? The outside of the ornate spittoon was beautiful. The inside wasn't. I hadn't felt a need to spit since I was 12. The club manager's bonhomie seemed forced. Looking at the place, I could understand that. Hi. Nice club you've got here. I was wondering if you could help me. What? I mean, I beg your pardon? I'm sorry, but I don't understand. No surprise there, all righty. He says sorry, but he not speak English. Uh, but he didn't say anything. He not have tongue. No tongue? What happened? It was bet. Uh, and he lost. He won. You should see other chappy. Oh, yes. There wasn't much point in trying to launch an in-depth conversation. When I couldn't speak Arabic, and he couldn't speak, period. <laughs> I don't know why, but I felt like I could trust this guy. Hello again, Ultar. Praise be to Allah. I am blessed with your bountiful presence once more. This place is certainly hard to find. Oh, yes, it is most exclusive. The membership can be no more than... Hmm... Kind sir, what would you guess the population of the village to be? Gee, I don't know, a couple of thousand? Then I would estimate the membership to be no more than a couple of thousand. What do you know about the kebab seller? A most miserable man. Ultar say, cheer up, matey mate, it might never happen. And he say, shut up, Ultar. Fancy that. Not at all. Arto has face like the drizzle that falls on the midweek afternoon, whatever that is. Could you tell me what that sign means? It's a door stay shut until brush come back, signed the management. Oh, well, what does that mean? Manager buy lovely new toilet brush, leaves it by wash basin for ten minutes, come back, it been stealing, stolen, not even out of wrapper. He damn cross, lock up toilet and say, Nobody use fine pristine toilet until brush given back. We say, what we do till then, eh? He say, cross legs and use superior willpower. And that's what you've been doing? No. Ultar use bucket. Do you know anything about the Templars? Of course. Yes? What can you tell me? Great she-bop band of the 60s. Uh, no, n that's not really... Who put the bop in the bop, 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 bop? Yeah, eternal questions. What do you think of this plaster? Not much there. Not enough to make tasteful garden gnome, for example. How about a really small garden gnome? Ultar not think so. 
Shake my hand, Ultar. Ha ha. Remind me of thing that happened month ago. Maybe six. Man come up to Ultar, say, shake hands, Ultar. But man have electric buzz thing in his hand. Ha ha. How we laugh. Then I broke his arms. I didn't think electrocuting the big Syrian was a good idea. That's funny. What does this grease paint stained tissue mean to you? Nothing. Why? What does grease paint stained tissue mean to you? Have you seen this man before? Oh, most certainly. Was here only yesterday. Here? Yesterday? My God, he's close. Yes, he was asking a lot of questions, just like you. What did he ask about? He asked about American called Stoby. Stobart? Yes, Stobart. You know him. The killer knew my name. What else did he ask about? He asked about German man called Klobner. I tried to remember the name of the man the conspiracy had lost in Syria. Was his name Klausner? Sure, that is what Ultar said. Klausner. I told this man in the picture, Klausner wanted to go up to Bull's Head. Hold on, he wanted to go where? Bull's Head. Big hill, ten mile out of town. Maybe sixty. When was that? Oh, maybe a week ago. What can you tell me about this Bull's Head Hill? It's most magnificent, lovely views. Worth visiting, yes, by indeedity. How do I get there? No, let me guess. You need fine luxury guy to take you there in air-conditioned taxi. Woe is me. Where can I find such a guide? And Ultar is most luxurious guide for most literally some way. In any direction. Gee willikers, lucky old me. Are you desirous of my pleasant and luxuriant service? All right, let's go. First, I regret the formalities. A trip to the bull's head. Fifty Yankee dollars, please. Fifty bucks? I don't have fifty bucks. Oh, most unhappy event. Ultar then sorry, but he cannot take you on ride of lifetime. Hold on, Ultar. Is there nothing I could barter with you? Word that it was so, beloved friend. But my taxi needs gas, and its muffler needs the muffler doctor. Trading for these things is not possible. My heart weeps for the injustice, but it's bucks or zip, or oh, unfortunate American. Well, I still don't have any cash on me, American or otherwise. Oh, unfortunate, most extreme. The delights of the Bull's Head Hill then must wait, I fear. This is a key for lifting manhole covers. You carry some strange stuff with you, mister. Hmm, no way. What do you think of this? Is gadget. It's a blood pressure gauge. Blood pressure gauge is what Ultar said. What do you think of this ball? Is most splendid, mister. Well, I still don't have any cash. Oh, the delights of the bulls. See you around, Ultar. May good fortune follow you, mister. Suddenly, I realized the horrific truth. The guy was basting the kebabs with a toilet brush. The stall holder's face wasn't a great ad for running a kebab stand. Hello again, sir. Hello. Kebab? Mmm. Yes? Well, goodbye. Have a nice day. Most good. Okay, I'll be right back in the second video of this session.